Hey, welcome to Copperhead Customs and welcome to a new episode. If you're new, first time joining us, go down here, catch up with what we do. We got a heap of videos out now. So uh, we build, try to build cars on a budget for five grand. If you've been kicking around, today we're not working on the 39 Bedford. We're going to do something different. So what we're going to do is we have sold, well, hopefully sold our little motorbike that we built. So what we're going to do is pull it out from under the house and give it a little little wipe over and uh, so it looks nice for the bloke when he comes and looks at it. So if you're wondering what it is, it's a Yamaha R1, YZF R1, it's a 1000cc uh, sports bike that I bought at auction and uh, it had a little bit of damage um, and we decided, I decided, I just bought it for something different to do and I decided I'd turn it into a street fighter. So. Uh, I chopped up the plastics and changed the plastics and painted it and whatever and yeah, we'll have a look at it. Anyway, let's get going. Reaper. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly I've been living in my own head constantly Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy Wait, all these thoughts are too negative I don't wanna get lost in the sedative Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win I'll take a stab, I wanna chase a bag I want a way I can change all the things I lack I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste and that Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch Well, here we are. That's us. So, I just got a quick wipe. We're not going to get too fancy. Uh, we'll just do a little walk around. Uh, I'll show you what it did. So, we'll put it out in the sun in a minute so you can get a real good look at that colour. So, I mixed that colour myself. Uh, I wanted something different. Um, but we'll start at the start, eh? We'll start at the front. So, uh, the fairings were cracked at the front. So, we deleted all the fairing. Um, we bought this little headlight, I left that black, I just thought it broke it up a bit. I put a light bar in underneath, because, yeah, they're bright, but they're not crazy. I mean, on a bike, you want good light, so I put a light bar in. Uh, I made a radiator overflow bottle out of a, uh, out of a drink bottle. Um, we neatened all the wiring, because... With the original fairing, there's all wiring going everywhere. So we neatened all that, deleted a fair bit of that. Um, we cut the fairing down. So we got the original fairing down the bottom that we ran. So we cut that just there, along there, and, and deleted all the top half of the fairing. Uh, we still ran the middle section. We wrapped that in, uh, in like a 6D carbon fibre wrap. Um, we put the little smoked carbon fiber indicators and then of course we've got the uh, aftermarket levers we've got the motocross bars and risers uh, we bought these little stupid bar end mirrors just because i wanted a cleaner look so we got the, the 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 gauge assembly was damaged so i got a another one but a factory one now this was a bit yeah just sort of a temporary thing that I mounted up. Um, and my plan was to actually get it in there, mount it into there later on. Uh, we did the, got rid of the pillion seat, and got the cover, put that on. Uh, we deleted all the rear foot pegs for the passenger. Uh, what else did we do? So as you can see down here, we've still got the bottom parts of the fairing still on. Uh, I left the mudguard on. I thought that looked cool with the change of colour. And then we did a tail. We tail uh, tidied up the tail. So we got rid of all the 
the original number plate assembly. Um, this plastic was broken. We actually had to do a bit of a repair on that. And so I made this little number plate assembly up with the tail light and blinkers. Tidy that up. We'll be back in a second. We're back. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about all we did, I think. Just basically cleaned it, cleaned it off, tidied all the all the rubbish off of it and try to get a bit of a clean look. Then we mixed up that crazy paint. It's got a ton of pearl in it. So what we'll do is I'll move us along out in the sun so you can get a good look at this colour. Uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty nice little colour, I think. Just go get me a block of wood. Have a little look at that. It's, uh, it's definitely changes. Just wanted something different. Uh, I have a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of red base, so I uh, use the red base and then put a ton of pearl in and we'll see if you can get a bit of a look. The camera's probably not real good at showing the pearl, but a little bit of trash, I don't know if you can see that, a little bit of trash in there. We haven't wet sanded it or anything. Yeah, you can see there, see the pearl in that? Not a bad paint job. Wasn't a bad paint job this one. I've got to run here long here. Like I said, it needs to be colour sanded. But yeah, orange peel wise, freaking basically none. Orange peel wise, it is insanely good. No peel at all, basically. I can't, I can't hardly see any peel anywhere. But yeah, we did get a little run there, and I think there's a little one on the tank. There's a little one somewhere on the tank. But yeah, other than that, she was not a bad little paint job. Just did that outside, so yeah, you're always going to get a little bit of trash when you're painting outside, but uh, nothing that a little wet sand wouldn't fix. There it is, there's a little run there. What have we got? But yeah, alright, so there it is, that's our R1 we made, and uh, it needs a fuel pump gasket and it needs the brakes fixed and the lights wired and then it's ready to ride so uh but i've had done what i wanted to do to it got the look i'm never going to ride it i'm getting too old to do ride these things now especially sports bikes i didn't buy it to ride it i just bought it to tizzy it up so yeah as you can hear my vicious dogs are going off their heads but that's him and uh yeah i don't know drop your comments what you thought about what i did with that one Something different, a bit of a different look. Alrighty, so uh, we'll see for long enough. If not, we'll do something else. Reaper. All right, I think we'll uh, we'll call that just a little short, sharp, shiny video, eh? Uh, Something different, guys. And uh, there it is. And uh, yeah, we will drop your comments down below. Thanks for watching. Shout out the subscribers. If you haven't joined, go down there. If you're new, go down, catch up all on what we do. So we don't really do too much on the bike scene. We do cars, yeah? So anyway, we'll do what we do every time at the end. Hurry up.